Okay, so y'all, story time. So y'all, please tell me if I'm wrong. So today, this dude wrote me on Instagram and he was like, can I send you money? Let me send you money for lunch. So I was like, okay. I wrote him back and I was like, send it. So he wrote me and was like, okay, what's your cash app? So I sent him the cash app. Yeah, I just knew I was going to open my cash up and I was going to have at least probably about a hundred bottles. You get what I'm saying? Because like this, I eat and that's how much I spend on my food. Yeah, I opened my cash up and this man sent me $30. Yeah, yes, $30. And I'm just like, at first I'm like, damn, like, am I ungrateful? Like, am I fucked up? Like, a feeling like, like, why did you send me $30? But then I had to ask people and they was like, nah, because I'm like, $30 is not even half a tank in my car. Like... You thought I was going to go to Chick-fil-A? Like, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what what, what did you think I was going to eat? It's like, when I go and eat, I eat full course meals. Like, I order a appetizer, a entree, and a dessert, and a drink. That can't even get me two drinks. Like, and then this man had the audacity to write me back and say, uh, let me get to know you. That I, why the f*** do you think I'm going to let you get to know me and you just send me $30 for lunch? Is you dumb? I mean, like, y'all be for real. Like, tell me, am I wrong? Like, am I fucked up? Like, is my head fucked up? Like, I don't even spend $30 on lunch on my... Like, I spend over that on myself. So, it's like, for someone to think they're going to send me... I get that this is not the account. Like, you didn't have to send the $30. But it's like, no. Like, nigga, I'm not that type of... I'm, I'm not I'm not one of them. First, the Cheesecake Factory Lady. And now this. The Cheesecake Factory Lady. And now this. Men cannot win. It's things like this. You are influenced by social media and now when life comes to you and a guy is trying to pursue you, because it doesn't level up with social media expectations, you feel the need to not only go online and talk crap about this guy, thankfully you didn't mention his name, but secondly, you're ungrateful. As easy as that, you're simply ungrateful. Also, you may not have thought this, but there's probably plenty from where that came from. You judge that man on $30. You don't even know him. He just showed interest in you and you automatically reject it. Send the money back. Send the funds. I think another thing with social media is that a lot of people desire attention. You do anything and everything in order to have a story time in line for your next TikTok so you can hopefully go viral. And the statement of not all publicity is good publicity, it doesn't apply to women like her. They don't care for as long as their name is out there they are happy with themselves. So I would advise each and every one of y'all, before you decide to put a camera to your face, sit down and think about what you wanna say because the information you put out there, sometimes it will not come back to you how you would like it to be plated to you. I went through the comment section of this video and the people were based. The comment section was the vibe. And so I went around and I was looking for stitches and the stitches were based as well. So let's take a look. I live in New York City. I work a corporate job downtown Manhattan. I hate spending $20 on lunch. You feel me? You're crying about 30? From your accent, I could tell you don't live in New York City. I live in one of the most expensive places in America. Lunch is costing me $20, $25 on a regular. What are you eating? That She said she spends $100 on lunch. And you watch the uh, rest of the video if you could find it or if you care to find it. She said she was expecting a hundred. Like she, she, thirty dollars is not enough. For, where do you live that you spending all this money on lunch, sweetheart? Y'all be chatting on here, just making shit up, bro. Like I, like I swear this is not real. Like <laughs> this is not real. Y'all just come on here trying to go viral. Her expectations for how much money she was supposed to get in her cash app was a hundred dollars. The guy sent her thirty dollars, and she said that wasn't enough. Then she's like, oh my bugging. Like, why would you send me $30? Go send it back then. Like, how are you so ungrateful? And he follows it with, can I get to know you? And she's like, why would I, why would I let you get to know me if you only send me $30 for lunch? The way these girls are so delusional that they feel like they're just living the celebrity lifestyle. Because I know for a fact you're not spending $100 on lunch every single day. And she was like, oh, $30 can't even get me two drinks. 
In fact, I'm just gonna play the video for y'all because tell me if I'm bugging because her attitude, bro, this is why a lot of men have their guard up when it comes to women because y'all just be some gold diggers. Like, so y'all see the girl that's going viral right now on TikTok about the, the man who sent her $30 for lunch? That shit right there just got me in shambles. Like, that shit got me in so much shambles right now. Because for one, $30 is more than enough. Way more than enough. She's talking about she want to order dinner, dessert, drink, and ah, uh, ah, uh, girl. Like, come on now. Anybody would be appreciative of that. Like, I promise you, I would have made that $30 work. I would have made that $30 work. Number one, you don't even know that man from a can of paint. For him to e even just be sending you money like that. And it's women like you that f it up for women like me, bitch. Because I sure as hell would have been appreciative. too. I would have put a little 15 in my tank and a little 15 with a little, little shimmy shimmy in a drink with a little shimmy shimmy and made it work. And then what makes matters work is he tried to get to know you. But you didn't want to get to know that man because he sent you $30. Nine times out of 10, men sent money, want to get to know you, and it's probably plenty of more where that came from. Then you had a nerd to come on the internet and then bash the man, even though we probably don't know who he is, but bash the man because he gave you $30. Girl, like, if you don't be appreciative of it, it's the thought that counts. Like, it's really the thought that counts. And another thing, y'all hoes are way too rich for me. Because they ain't never too good to not accept $30 from a man who clearly wants to actually show me that he want to buy my lunch. Sad part about it is you actually think that $30 really ain't enough. Like, baby, go ahead and send that man his money back and let him give it to a woman that's more appreciative than you would ever be talking all that but i bet you kept that 30 dollars though let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i'll see you guys on the next video